What's going on? So Webull just enabled option rolling. And in today's video, we're going to show you exactly how that is done here on the Webull mobile app. As of right now, this can only be done on the mobile app. I have not seen the feature enabled or pop up on the desktop yet for Webull. Now we are looking at an option contract. So for example, I bought this call, which I'm actually down, down $7 on in a matter of seconds. Great. Uh, and it's for about a week out in terms of expiration, but I might want to roll this contract. I'm going to use this as an example of how to do this. The question is first, why might someone want to roll an option contract? Well, there's a couple of different reasons. And first things first, Weevil supports rolling long calls, long puts, covered calls, and cash secured puts as of right now. So maybe you bought a call and you bought a strike price that's out of the money. And you're like, you know what? We just haven't been moving too much. I don't know if we can get to that price. I don't feel comfortable here. I might want to roll my strike price down. Or you say to yourself, you know what? I think we might need an extra couple of weeks. I might want to roll my strike price or I want to roll my option out a couple of weeks, keeping the same strike price. Well, you can go ahead and do that. So there's a lot of reasons why those are some. Now, one last one that I want to mention is let's say you're selling covered calls and the stock just rockets up off of, let's say a good earnings report or something like that, or, you know, market just rockets up in a couple of days. And now your stock is your contract, your covered call that you sold. That was an out of the money call that you were looking just to cash flow a few bucks now is in the money. And if it expires in the money, your shares are going to get sold at the strike price. And you're like, you know what? I want to keep my shares. I'm not ready to sell this stock just yet. I want to roll my covered call out another week. And I want to roll that strike price up a couple of bucks. You can do that as well. So those are some examples of, you know, why you would, or why one would want to even do this in the first place. But let's just say this spy call is a dud. And I'm like, man, I got to bring this strike price down. So we are currently looking at this spy call. It's a 395 call under the sell to close button, the bottom left. I'll click on that. Now it says sell to close, take profit slash stop loss or create rolling order. You're going to click on create rolling order. Okay. That's the new feature that just added. When I click on this, now I have the ability to select the new contract that I actually want. What's actually going to be happening here is Webull is going to be closing your original position while opening the new one at the same time. So you could think of it as why wouldn't, why can't I just close out my contract and then just go buy a new one? Well, you totally could. This kind of, I guess, is meant to do it all in one step. So it maybe saves a few extra minutes or a minute or two. It depends on how fast and how familiar you are with this, with the platform and options and rolling and all that stuff. Okay. So they're essentially going to be selling my current contract while buying another one at the same time. And then the difference in price is what you'll pay um, or get back credit to your account. So in this case, I have a contract and I'm going to buy a contract under the same expiration, but I'm going to buy one strike below. I'm going to buy the strike that's $1 underneath mine. Okay. So I'm going to be closing out my 395s as it says on the bottom of my screen, which is very nice. And then I will now be buying to open a 394 call and I can click on the edit button to the right hand side of that call and I can reselect maybe a contract that I want. So click on next. I'm going to set a limit price. Now, it's essentially the difference between the current price of what I'm selling and the price that I'm buying. So you take the price of the one that I'm buying, which is now, which is more expensive. And I will subtract the price of the one that I'm selling. That's the leftover. That's how much more money I'm going to have to pay for this option. Okay. So let's say I set my limit. I set my limit price to be 16 cents. It's telling me that the spread is between 15 and 18 or 15 and 17. Now, if I do 16 and click on place order, boom, I'm filled. So now it filled me. It sold that one contract, bought this one. If I go back to my account, you'll now see that if I start to go back, this 395 call that I had is no longer there. If I go back to my homepage and I find this one, now I have a position in the 394 spy calls and it tells my average price and all that good, nice, fun stuff. So same thing here. If I want to sell this, I can go ahead and sell this. Uh, but that right there, my friends, is how you roll options on the Webull app as of right now. New feature. I know Robin had recently uh, added this feature or has had this feature for a little bit. So I'm sure Webull is playing catch up and that's why they're doing this. Um, but that's how it's done. Any questions, leave them down below. 
all same rules apply when it comes to, you know, a actually executing your orders and all that fun stuff um, when it comes down to the Weeble platform, options platform, and all that great stuff. If you want more videos like this, thumbs up button, consider subscribing, and check out our Weeble playlist. If you guys have not signed up and want to get some free stocks, there'll be some great links and resources down below in the video description box. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.